who is joining us now on the BMW desk. Our friend, our colleague, our homie, Taylor Townsend, coming off the court with, with a sick comeback win. You, you just lost your IFB. That, that's what happens when Tay Tay joins us. <laughs> you're going to run this one. <laughs> Before we get to you, I, well, listen, we'll start with you. I know you got questions, and, yeah. and, and you've been on this side of the, the table as well. Uh, yes. so we can go both ways. That, that's, yeah, what I'm worried I mean, about. that's what I'm worried about over here. We're just, we're just three friends having a casual conversation. You know, we're the three best friends. That Anyone anyway. never had? Uh, Hangover. <laughs> I'm going to have a good time here. Uh, what a win, though. Thank you. Tell me yeah. about the comeback, down a set, down a break in the second. Mm -hmm. what, what made the difference for you? Um, it's actually really weird. It's like this match was one of the matches where, like, I was setting up the point so well, and I had all of the shots, like, on my racket, but I was missing them. And so I was getting so frustrated because I was doing, like, all of the right things, but then the last shots or the shots to kind of finish or set me up to get to the net was missing those balls. So... For me, I just kind of mentally settled down and just was like, I told myself, I was like, every single rally is going to be 20 balls plus. <laughs> and that's how I, like, that's how we train. And, like, I know that I can do it. And I just had to kind of mentally settle into just being a little bit more disciplined in my shot tolerance and just waiting until I get the right shot instead of kind of pressing it, you know. When I saw the opportunity, sometimes I was getting a little bit impatient and trying to go and kind of force the shot. And so I just was like, okay. Is going to be a grind and you know i kind of embraced that and then from that point it kind of freed me up to be a little bit more aggressive from the baseline and then i was able to finish you know kind of more inside the court yeah tt when we talked i think it was in rome you were mm -hmm. playing some really good tennis over there and you said you know what we've been we've been watching all of the best players yeah. and they all do the same thing yeah and when you when you started figuring that out how much has that helped your low day winning mm -hmm. when you're not playing your best um Man, that's a great question. Um, that's one of the things I've kind of struggled with, honestly, is like um, kind of trying to fit, you know, the square peg in the round hole. Um, so I'm quite stubborn. So, you know, I have something in my mind and then I like am continuously trying to do that thing instead of being a little bit more flexible and saying, okay, this, I'm not playing well today. You know, this, the thing that I want to do isn't happening right now. So like, how can I adjust? So, um, over these past couple of days, I'm really happy with the way that I've been able to adjust and be a little bit more fluid and flexible and just accept the conditions, accept, you know, down a set, not playing great or setting up points, missing the easy shots and then, you know, having to just reset and just do it over and over and over again. So, um, you know, I, I that's kind of a thing that I'm managing and working on still because that's not something that come in, comes innately, like very naturally to mm -hmm. me. I'm quite stubborn. So I just want to, you know, keep going like a bull, just bulldoze right through. So, um, you know, this match and the matches even before in qualities really gave me confidence going into this match. Yeah. And then even, you know, going forward, I'm I'm excited because, you know, I'm showing myself day in, day out, you know, match in, match out point by point that, you know, I'm at this level and everything that I'm doing is enough to win at the at the highest level. Yeah, you're, you're, you're sensationally tough out. You bring it every single day. Technically, we're seeing certain things start getting better mm -hmm. and better. And I know towards the end of last year, you were like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm killing it in doubles. Singles are moving up, but this is where I'm going to do it. I'm just where I'm going to make my money in the singles. And you started to add elements. What in the off season did you add that um, this first few months of the year you're pretty happy with? Um, well, a lot of things that we worked on sometimes we were trying to figure out kind of like we changed a little bit of technique from with my forehand, with my serve and stuff like that. So we kind of were working from the top up, just getting understanding of my racket head speed, how I want to hit the ball, how I want to contact the ball and everything. And during the off season, everything was from the chest down, from the legs down, waist down. So just optimizing my positioning, optimizing how, you know, I can hit my shot with the quality that I want to hit every single time. So not settling. And that's kind of the, um, the motto that me and my coach have right now, like not settling, not settling for, you know, not being in perfect position, not settling for really hitting the ball the way I want, the way that I know I can, you know, and, and my whole goal, you know, in my matches now is to just play like I train. Yeah. When I'm practicing, like, I'm just like... Number one in the world. Yes. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then, you know, I get out, and sometimes, you know, your mind can kind of get in your way, and you can get in your own way. So when I go out on the court now, I'm just like, I know I can do it. I've proven to myself that I can do it day in and day out, week in and week out. I just want to 
play how I train, how I know I've shown myself that I can play. That's who I want to show up on the court, and that's what I'm fighting for. And that's what you did today, yeah. not settling. Say, yeah. all right, be out here, 20 ball rallies, yeah. whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. And you got through there. Listen, uh, we love what you share from your home life mm -hmm. as well. So how's uh, boy mom life going? It's awesome. Um, AJ's here with me, so maybe that's why I'm playing so good. Because he's like, Mommy, I want to do some winning with you. <laughs> that's what oh, he told that's me today. Horrible. And I was just like, AJ, I won. <laughs> and he was like, I want to do winning with you. And I was like, OK, I'm going to come back, and we're going to win that's together. Motivation. That's motivation. That's <laughs> motivation. No, it is. It is. But um, it's amazing. Like, he literally was like, Mom, you're my best friend. Like, seriously, like, it melts my heart. And the, the thing is, is like, he knows when to do it. So he'll do something bad, and then he'll be like, you miss me? Oh. So I'm like, you, uh, <laughs> just like, I don't know what to do. But, you know, it's it's so much fun. His birthday's coming up on the 14th. So he's like, I want a vanilla cake with chocolate icing on it. Good and taste. my my birthday's coming up. What am I getting for my birthday? <laughs> I'm just like, I have my hands full. Like, mama's got to win some more. Man. <laughs> and so, um... It's great. I mean, he's into dinosaurs, so, like, everything is, yeah, just everything's a dinosaur. I'm constantly getting bit behind my knees, and <laughs> he bites me. So I'm like, I, it's just, I love it, honestly. And I, having him here has made me, I think, relax a little bit and kind of give me an opportunity to disconnect, you know, from all of this. When I leave the site, you know, I can kind of turn off and focus on him and and it makes me relax so I'm I'm really happy because you know we talked last year in Rome like that was week maybe six or five of being away from him and I was away from him for three months straight and that was really hard so for me to be able to cherish these moments with him being here and being able to play good tennis like it, it truly means a lot to me and to share these moments with him you know I hope that you know it makes an impact honestly I just I hope that my actions are just showing him the way to go. Yeah. Absolutely. Beautiful. Listen, AJ wants some winning together. You're winning. So we love to see that. We, we love you, Taylor. And uh, I love you guys, too. I miss you guys. <laughs> you know, we do. If you keep winning, though, that means you can't work with us. I know. So, I, I know. mean, it's... I like being here. Yeah, on that side. Like, in on the desk. Maybe with a trophy. Yes. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's and do then I can, both. I can get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see Steve, his wrist game is crazy, you guys. Happy it's, Jewelers. That's actually insane. We'll be back after this. <laughs>